Hi, this is Ivan Penn with Black and Making It, Black Artists Making It Happen. I just enjoyed the amazing performance of Mr. Malik Yoba of his show, Harlem to Hollywood. I am about to interview him and uh, the director, Mr. Kevin Ramsey, and they should be on their way in from the little mixer. And we're going to let you guys hear a little bit more about the show. So, looking forward to it. Hold tight just a minute. Harlem to Hollywood is, um, first and foremost, it's the reaction to uh, my father's um, instruction to build your own generator so when they turn off the power you still have lights, meaning it's about creating your own uh, way and creating your own content and, you know, in this particular case as an actor and a writer, producer, musician, uh, marketer, humanitarian, this piece for me has always represented um, freedom, the freedom to bring all of my abilities together and uh, tell a story about a black man going to therapy and working through his stuff. And um, Kevin and I have been working since 2004, some way, shape or fashion on this, this show. So 12 years later, we finally got a yeah. chance to Put it up in New York. We've worked on it in Indianapolis, in LA, in Brooklyn, and in uh, Delaware, different yeah. places we've been working on different projects. So it's good to be back home in Harlem. And it chronicles Malik's journey um, as an artist, right? Um, you know, he has, a, he has a large fan base, a large following. And to, when I first met Malik, it was all of these characters that were living inside of him and to see them come to life has been a great journey. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been awesome, bro. It's been awesome. I think, you know, it's one of those things, gratitude I think is important at every stage. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, when people ask the question, what's the most gratifying part of something, that can often be, oh, the part that felt good. Mm -hmm. But even the parts that didn't feel good, I'm grateful for, and I have gratitude. You know, I feel um, some level of um, satisfaction and gratitude for, um, because without, you know, they're both sides of the same coin. You have to feel the pain so you can appreciate the joy, and that's what is represented in this piece. You know, uh, so one level of gratifying feeling is digging in once you've written stuff out of pain or confusion or you know vulnerability whatever it is and then you figure out how does it all work together and that's amazing that's an amazing process of creation um, and then of course seeing it with an audience um, we had a version of this six years ago eight years ago yeah, now, yeah. in Indianapolis which is crazy how yeah. fast time goes by but you can't um, Seeing an audience, and we had a diverse audience, age-wise, gender, sexuality, you know, um, culture, you know, we had every, I yeah, mean, so many yeah. people represented in that room, um, which is amazing. And it resonated in such a powerful way, so as a director, the writer, and, and once again my role as a co-writer is really just to shape these stories that Malik has. Um, but to see the most gratifying part tonight was to see the audience's reaction, mm -hmm. to see what stuff really resonated, what things really connected. I mean, that was, dude, there were moments when I, okay, wow. And the character of Gladys Rosenberg, for those who don't know, Malik plays a, a Jewish therapist. Um, she, she's living. People are like, I want to go see her. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see Gladys. So, yeah. Theater is a living organism. I mean, that's the beginning of, that's the history of the griots in Africa, that's the history of, you know, the Greek theater and Romans and people need, humans need stories. Cavemen wrote pictures on the wall, so that's just basic to who human beings are and 
you know, uh, to me, the older the physical space, the better. Mm. Like I talked about, I remember going to um, Amsterdam, and there's this whole theater district there. A friend of mine's family has been doing a circus there for a hundred years, and oh, now it's more than a hundred years, but uh, they use this theater, and, and so she took me to a bunch of theaters, and I wanted to go in all the empty theaters and just sit there, and she tried to talk to me, like, no, 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 just, I want to feel the spirits of people who have come, you know, uh, through the space. That's always been something that I've gotten excited about. So theaters, it's the beginning, and uh, I won't say the beginning and the end, but that's where it all started for me. I, I like when League, I think theater, I was uh, eight years old, growing up in New Orleans, uh, and my sister took me to see uh, the musical Raisin. Uh, and I remember hitting her going, that's what I want to do. <laughs> That, that's what I want to do, and I didn't know what that was, you know what I mean? But, but there, whatever those people were doing, coming off that stage as an eight-year-old kid, uh, theater is transforming it. It changes lives. Uh, hearing people talk back tonight about, especially the woman who talked about seeing her community and having this, uh, the history with her community and the, the reminiscence of these stories inside of Harlem to Hollywood and back again, what that did for her. So. Yeah, we share kind of that similar experience of what theater has done for our lives. You know, we have lots of similar experiences, yeah, dude. That's why we... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so interesting that when you get to know someone, right? I mean, you can work with artists and you get to know them and you go, okay. But this dude, he's, he's like, he is my brother. Uh, and it's just, uh, we're just beginning. I realized that tonight, well, there's something happening that happened tonight that mm -hmm. made it, it was like, it is time. Yes, yes, yes. It just said it's time. Yes, yes. And you can't stop that. It's like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a kind of, this is going to snowball into next week us getting back on Skype and working out some stuff. But I'm excited. Just go. Just experience <laughs> it. Good, bad, off-Broadway, yeah. Broadway. So you know what theater is, you know, for a lot of folks of color. You know, we may go to some of the traveling shows that come around that we'll see a church in the uh, a production in the theater, but I think that you should see it all. Aspire to see a show on Broadway, Broadway and a good yeah. one. Yeah. <clears throat> like a popular one. Yeah. Understand why it's popular. Yeah. See the level of production, you know, traditionally our um, shows Book of Mormon or, mm. you know, Wicked, you know, down to some of the smaller productions, just so you can see what's possible. Go to the opera, mm. you know? Just understand that it's it's part of culture that can't be lost, you know, and that's part of what this show is. Being able to present it for people so they can remember, and we achieve what we wanted, to, what we set out to do tonight, you know, for people to see, like this is how transformative it can be. I don't care how many films I've done, mm -hmm. TV shows, nothing that I've done as an actor on film or television can compare to what people experience tonight. Oh, what you go through as an artist. Yeah. That's that, you know, there is no cut in theater, right? It is, in this role, these roles that, that Malik is conjuring up, it takes a tremendous amount of energy and stamina, mental stamina, to be so specific and detailed in each and every one of these characters. And we've just begun to scratch the surface on that. Watch, I mean, give us some more time in a rehearsal hall and because I was, Gladys came alive tonight in an interesting way. Well, that's the thing, the audience gives you, gives stuff. you that stuff. So if right? you're in yeah. the room by yourself, you know, when you can feel people react, which you can't do on film. On film or television, you can have the crew's reaction, the camera right. operator or the director or right. the actors, but there's nothing like a live, audience. a group yeah. of people in the live audience that have no idea what the show is. And they come together and they respond in the same way at the same time that's always the most amazing thing like and then if you do a show long enough you know okay they're gonna laugh here they're gonna cry here they're gonna mm -hmm. because you hit yeah. these chords that are just universal so they work for you and then there's of course the occasional audience that doesn't laugh or cry at anything which is always interesting because those people somehow all chose to gather on that night or that afternoon mm -hmm. And it's something about them mm -hmm. that's a bit of an outlier. If you've done a hundred shows, you've had like six of them where they just didn't get it. 
the, I don't know who those people are. <laughs> right. Or right. sometimes right. Or are they, they quiet they, they and they get it. it. They right. By it. the end, they, they they're just it. listening. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. They don't react. Yeah. Study and create your own. <laughs> Bingo. Create your own work. Work on your craft. Mm -hmm. Become a craftsman at what it is you're doing. Right? Because nobody can take that from you. That's right. Nobody can take that. Nobody can take excellence away from you. No matter where it is in the world, when it's excellent, that shit is excellent. It just resonates. So, kudos to that. So, for all you artists out there, follow Iconic32, my company, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Pay attention because our podcast, The Making of an Icon, is coming your way real soon into your eardrums. And we created this podcast so that we can give people steps to success of folks who have come before you who are doing amazing things in the things that you may want to do. And even if it's not the specific thing, you can always learn lessons from other people who have been successful and apply it to what you're doing. And in general, just study, you know, um, the, the lives of people who have come before you, you know? So, yeah. there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.